The overwhelming majority of team leaders don't effectively monitor or score their team's calls to identify call deficiencies and areas for coaching. That's a fact. One of the biggest reasons for this is that they don't have an easy-to-use call monitoring, evaluation, and coaching form to quickly get the job done. Hi, I'm Mark Carrier, and in today's video, you'll discover an awesome free call monitoring and coaching form and how easily you can customize it for your call center. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'll share the link for you to download this uh, must-have tool for free. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way when I upload more team leader training videos and tips, uh, you'll get notified. Now I found this fantastic call monitoring, evaluation and coaching form on a site called uh, Call Center Helper and they've got the inspiration from uh, Jonathan Evans of uh, TNT. I recommend it to all my clients because it's an Excel based call scoring matrix that you can use to score calls and easily customize it as an evaluation form, coaching form, or call quality checklist. When I've trained team leaders on how to use it, they found it really easy to use to score calls when either silent monitoring or listening to recorded calls and providing uh, feedback and coaching. So let me show you an example of how I customize the form for one of my clients based on their outbound call structure. When you download this free form, uh, you will find three worksheets uh, inside the spreadsheet. Here's the main scoring form where the questions are answered, and uh, it has the space for the call details to keep track of the uh, call information. So you put that here. And uh, also there are 10 yes, no type questions and uh, 10 scoring questions, and also the final score for the call based on the uh, scoring the team leader gave for each particular part of the call. All the uh, questions and options uh, used on the form are contained in the Options tab to the worksheet, and you can choose the exact wording you want to appear in the 10 drop-down questions uh, on the scoring forms. So for example, instead of having yes and no as the answers, you can easily change that to uh, true or false. You can also set up your own questions to be answered in the next 10 questions by simply overriding the example questions and they will automatically uh, pull through to uh, your scoring sheet. So when you download the scoring sheet, you can simply change the questions they've populated in the form to the questions you want so uh, they can follow your call structure as we did here from a client. You'll also find that they've included a list of uh, other popular questions that uh, you may want to use, so you can check that out. And if you haven't developed a call structure for your team to follow, it's very critical that you do. And to learn about all the critical elements you need to include when creating your own call structure, check out my Coachable Call Structure, uh, the calling line video. It covers everything you need in a few minutes, and I'll leave a link in the video description below for you to check it out. Now, once you've set up all your questions on the form, and when you use the form and answer the questions, scores accumulate to show a final percentage uh, score and a message. And you can easily change the thresholds and message uh, to be displayed like we did here for my client. So you can do that just right there. Isn't that a great form? You can see how easy it is to customize uh, for your needs and how easy it is for your team leaders to use, right? Now when you use a scoring form like this, there are two things you need to consider. The first thing is that not everyone scores the same way on the same thing. Some team leaders are far too hard on their scoring and others are far too lax in the scores that they'd make. So you need to calibrate the scoring by getting all your team members into a room, listen to a few recorded calls together and have them each independently score each call. Then compare their scores to see how they score each area to make sure you all get on the same page as what constitutes an appropriate score. This way, team members will generally have the same scores for the different parts of your call structure, and you'll find this really helpful if you move them from team to team so they'll get consistency on the scoring of their calls. The other thing you want your team leaders to do is uh, use the form when they give feedback on the call that they scored. A really good way of using the form in coaching is to listen to the call with their team member and give the team member a blank scoring sheet and have them score the call as they listen to it with their team leader. What's great about doing uh, this is that your operators will score each area of the call themselves 
and then compare their score with how their team member, I'm sorry, team leader scored each area of the call. This will really highlight for your operators where they are failing and give your uh, team leaders plenty of opportunities to coach. I'd love to hear your thoughts on using a call monitoring uh, tool like this, so just leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you have any questions, just put them there too, and I'll be sure to answer them all. And uh, if you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button below, and please share it with someone if you think it can help them uh, too. And I'll leave a, a link in the video description uh, below so you can access the coachable call structure video I mentioned that you will find really useful when setting up your own call scoring model. Thanks again uh, for watching and I look forward to seeing you all next time.